Hi, this is Jack's Victory. Today I'm doing another tutorial. Um, you might be wondering why I'm using Cubase, but um, because it's, today I'm going to be using a plugin that's um, VST only. There's no audio unit version. Uh, that's why I, I can't use log I can't use Logic for it. Um, I just recovered from a slight illness, so uh, my speaking might be a bit unclear. Please bear with me. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a super saw kind of sound. Um, we're going to be using a free UI synthesizer called Synth1. Here's the interface and um, I'll let you preview the sound um, with this MIDI clip that I made. Um, forgive me, I'm a bit slow in using Cubase. All right. As you can hear, those, this is this is a kind of um, polyphonic, polysynth kind of uh, super saw steps instead of the usual um, super fast um, arpeggiated um, melodies that you often hear. Um, yeah, so uh, this is more of a step than like the the very fast running kind of yeah sounds. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to make it in synth one. All right, uh, here's the tutorial. Um, channel that I'm going to show you how to make it with. Alright, uh, first I'll reset Synth1. Um, if you just download um, Synth1 by itself, it should come with uh, just this whole bank of initialized uh, sounds. Um, you, it's important that you have this um, initialized preset as um, we work from here to get the, to get the super source sound. So that's basically how it sounds like. Um, not really a super saw, it's a square. So what you want to do is you change the oscillators into source. Doesn't really matter if the sub oscillator is not turned up, we don't really need it anyway. It's not supposed to be bassy. Now uh, turn down the attack on the amplifier and the filter. Uh, the filter is already down, sorry. Now it's more of a plug than a lead, but um, it's a it's a start. All right now, um, turn the polyphony up to the maximum thirty two. This is the reason why I'm using Cubase instead of Logic because um, Logic's ES two does not have the ability to go up to thirty two, a polyphony of thirty thirty two um, voices when um, it's on polyphonic mode. Well, Synth one, um, sorry, uh, just now I said Cubase. Um, Synth one. It, uh, it allows you to go up to 32 even when it's on polyphonic mode um, which is very vital for making this super soft sound so uh, that's how it sounds alright, um, next make sure you turn on unison Right, um, so that's me showing off a little bit. Uh -huh. Alright, um, so that's basically our sound. Um, let's preview it with the MIDI sequence. Alright, um, the cool effect that um, a lot of trans producers use is they sweep over and open the filter cutoff. So that's uh, what we'll do. So um, automating this will have a nice uh, rise and fall kind of effect. So now uh, we'll go to the equalizers. Um, we have to bring up certain frequencies in the sound. Um, start with the highs. Um, just boost it about two dB. Just clarify it. it uh, this is EQing is subjective, so um, it depends on what you want. So um, if you want, um, if you want to boost it. Um, to another amount, um, yeah, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. 
So now the hard high frequencies are pretty clear. So um, now we don't want the low frequencies. So we'll cut it off at about um, let's say two hundred hertz. Cut off. Now it may not sound very nice because we've cut off the, the low end of the sound. However, um, it will sit just right in your mix and it won't uh, clash with your kick drum and stuff, uh, which is a pretty bad situation to be in. So now what you want to do is you boost the mids. Yeah, I think it's about, about 2000 hertz. You can just leave it on the default settings. It just works. Don't boost it too high. Yeah, so um, that's about it. That's our sound, um, the Super Saw Polyphonic Synth sound. <coughs> um, if you're a Logic user, you might um, find it a little bit hard, um, unless you have another uh, second DAW like Cubase LE. Um, then you can just um, sequence your melody here and then bounce it and import it into Logic. Uh, which is what I plan to do with this melody which I've written. I'm actually making a song right now. We'll be using this method so I can use this synth. Right, so um, I'll put a link in the description um, to find the download for Synth 1 because it's a freeware synthesizer available for both Windows and Mac in VSC format. Um, the Mac version is still in beta but uh, it works um, quite stably. Be sure to download the sound banks if you, if you want some inspiration. Alright, um, so that's about it. That's my tutorial on how to make a super saw kind of sound. I'll just treat you to one last listen and I'll stop the recording. Alright, thanks for watching.